the ability to diagnose myasthenia is a clinical one. It's based on history and examination. I think we need to listen to our patients. We need to listen to what they're telling us. All too often in a busy practice, uh, we don't take the time to ferret out the subtleties of the disease that are the critical clues of weakness that's made worse by activity. Gets better if one rests only to recur when we resume the activity. And so we need to stop, look, and listen, uh, much like a railroad crossing, if you will. Um, and I think we'll we'll do a better job. There's no question social media is increasing our diagnostic acumen. Patients are doing their own uh, searches and coming in and saying, do I have MG? Um, and so to that aspect, social media has been very helpful. In terms of the management, um, we need to be able to develop as a as a uh, a community, we need to develop a good biomarker that can be used to predict uh, therapeutic responsiveness, um, the natural course of the, of the disease. And in its absence, I think we're, we're behind times, unlike multiple sclerosis, which has the MR scan as a biomarker and now can demonstrate um, the uh, efficacy with their new therapeutics and long-term predictions. We're a bit behind that, and that's where we need to focus. Once we achieve that, we can then be able to use that as a tool to guide us into patients who will respond or not respond to certain therapeutics uh, much faster than we currently have. Um, and that, too, will improve the quality of care that we can deliver to this patient population.